and welcome back to my channel. So today I have this absolutely beautiful uh, rose gold makeup tutorial for you guys and I'm so glad to be back. I hope you like my lighting and you know my uh, backdrop and everything like that because I have been trying so hard to get my lighting correct and I just want my videos to be really really good and I'm back with my makeup tutorials. I have missed them so much and I swear in this tutorial I've been coughing and sneezing because I wasn't feeling so well but right now I feel so much like me now that I've done my makeup and everything and I just absolutely love how this whole look turned out I wasn't too sure what I was gonna film and what I was gonna do but it did come out really really, really good and I really enjoyed um, filming this for you guys um, if you guys want to know how to get this uh, rose gold makeup look then don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and I will show you guys how also I will have details of everything so my my dress my earrings my nail polish and all the makeup products will be in the description box as usual for you guys and yeah without further ado let's get straight into this video and oh wait before you guys go please don't forget to hit that notification bell to be part of the one-on-one -on -one squad and get notified every time i upload a video ah. anyways guys without further ado let's get straight into it so to prime my eyes i'm going to be using um the urban decay naked skin concealer um in the shade light neutral Because I really, really want to cancel out all the redness and the veins. And what is this hair doing? Like, just go back in. I don't even have a clip here. This is just great. Okay. And then I'm going to be taking. And I'm just going to be taking my beauty sponge. And looking at me. Now I'm just going to set that concealer with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 120. I love this powder. It is just such a flawless finish powder. So I'm just packing that all over my lid. So for the eyes, I am going to be using the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. I don't think I've used it on my channel before. And um, the first colour that I'm going to pick up is Desert Sand first colour that I'm going to pick up is Eden, which is this really uh, a nice light pink shade. So that's going to be my first transition shade. Next colour that I'm going to be taking on a smaller tapered brush is um, the shade Saffron, which is a deeper sort of um, shade because it's just gonna pull the whole look together and I'm gonna apply that. So I'm kinda doing like a spotlight eye. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back in with the shade Eden and kind of just blend all of that in. Okay, now to intensify the look further, I'm going to be adding Amber. So I'm going to be um, adding the shade Amber and I'm going to mix it with a bit of Oud. And then we're just going to deepen up the crease. So I'm just laying down the colours first <laughs> and then I'm going to focus on blending them. So now with this brush, I'm just going to make sure that it's all blended in nicely. So with this um, eye look, you just got to be really patient with blending. And blend with a really soft hand. You don't want to be harsh at all with your blending because then you're just going to get really patchy eyeshadow and it's not going to look nice. 
So just really take your time blending. There's no rush. Well, unless you're in a rush. So I kind of want to make this look look very similar to the dress that I'm wearing. You know. So just carry on blending because blending is key for any eye makeup look. You know. So so once you're satisfied with the blending. Then, go ahead and do other things. Okay, so for my brow bone highlight, I never really do brow bone highlight, but oh my god, I got a sneeze. Okay, so for so for my brow bone highlight, I'm gonna be taking the shade Desert Sand and popping that onto my brow bone. Oh my god, no. Oh god, I'm sorry. And I'm just gonna pop that on. And then I'm gonna blend that out. It's a kind of nothing sort of colour, but you know, just like that. Then take that brush again, bit of Eden, and sweet. Okay, so the next shade I'm going to be taking is Angelic, which is like, um, it looks rose gold in the palette, so does the shade Celestial. Celestial, Celestial. So with my finger, I'm going to be taking that. I feel like you get so much colour payout with your finger. So tap that in, baby. And then using this brush, I'm just gonna. You're like. By the way, guys, do you guys like my rose gold? You know, strongly just match my background and my entire look today. Okay. This is such a gorgeous pop shade, you know? So you just want to deepen it up and you want to kind of like mix colours and so where you had lost a bit of that intensity you can just go back into it and intensify um, the, um, the halo eye. So before I finish off the eyes I'm going to do my concealer because um, I've got to do concealer. And I can hear my bubbles here. So as you guys can see, I got a bit crazy with concealer because um, I think I'm gonna go. This concealer is like my holy grail concealer. I actually prefer this concealer over the Tarte Shape Tape. Am I saying this? Yes, I am. <laughs> So there we go. This concealer is absolutely so flawless and I swear it doesn't leave you looking creasy underneath at all. Okay guys, I don't know when my camera stopped recording but basically I put on the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Neutral, put it under my eyes, onto my forehead area, down the bridge of my nose, under my chin, and then I just lightly dusted that with some NYX powder. Why does this camera stop? So now I'm gonna finish off the eyes, I'm gonna be taking Amber, Oud, and Saffron and mixing them up together and Eden. Mix them up together and I am gonna go under my lower lash line. Okay, so seeing as though we're not going to be doing any eyeliner whatsoever, we can go ahead and mascara the top and lower lashes and then I'm going to be adding some falsies which are not so dramatic because I wanted the eye look to, you know, look good. They're fairly dramatic, so 
I have lost a lot of my lashes. My lashes are extremely long. But because I've been wearing false lashes and then strip them off, they've been like coming off. Okay, so now I'm just going to take some black eyeliner, I'm going to tight line and I'm also going to add some black eyeliner on my waterline, which is so rare. Really make the eyes look really dramatic, but I don't really do eyeliner, on, but I'm doing it today. Okay, so now I'm going to stick on my false lashes. The lashes I'm wearing are from Dazzle Your Eyes and what style is this? This is called Miss United Kingdom. That's me today. And I'm just gonna apply that so that really this I'm, I'm, I'm loving this look and I'm gonna zoom it up a bit more so I can do the contouring of my cheeks now so for contour guys I'm gonna be taking the Fenty Beauty contour stick in the shade Mocha this is like my holy grail I've been, I use this every day like honestly I use it every day There we go. And then the best brush to blend it out with is the MAC 130. It's my Rider Dye brush. And it just blends out effortlessly. I'm sure you can see how beautifully that blended out. And for my nose. We're going to move on to cheeks. For cheeks, I'm going to be using the Hula Rockatella. No. The Hula Rocka. Rockatella? Um, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the Hula Rockatella blusher. I've never used it, but it's absolutely beautiful and rose gold. Look at that, it's so nice. So I'm just going to be taking my blush brush and just kind of like taking off the excess blush on that. And I'm going to go in. Oh, I don't even want to ruin it. Oh my god. I really love to put blush out on the apples of my cheeks because it really makes my uh, cheeks look um, a lot more fuller so I do really like doing that technique guys I love this blusher oh my god okay kind of fainting over this it's got like um, sparkle in there like it's got this really nice sparkly thing but it's not like chunky sparkle or anything like that it's nothing too crazy okay before i go to have um, my blush on i think that is absolutely fine so for highlight guys it's a rose gold one and it's from mns they have the brand called autograph and can we just appreciate how gorgeous this rose gold is it is like gorgeous look at that oh my god trust me guys how can you go wrong with this look, look at that that's gorgeous so I'm gonna um, apply that generously on my cheeks on the bridge of my nose and also on my chin I'm loving this look by the way oh god so swirl that around oh are you seeing this because like I am seeing it oh yes a blinding highlighter Honestly, guys, I, I really love this eye look. It's, I love it. Okay, some on my nose. Maybe that's a bit too much on my nose, but hey, this is a super glam look. So, if any of you guys are wearing like a rose gold or pink, you know, you guys can really switch up the lip color with anything you like. I'm loving this highlight. Yes, I'm loving it. Okay, so that's all done. For lips, I am going to be taking a new one, which is called the Magnetic Matte Lip Color in the shade Rose, and it's from Nude Stick. It's like a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. So let's put that on. Oh, I, oh my God, guys, I'm loving this color. It's so beautiful. It's so creamy and it glides on. It's such a, and then. On top of that, I'm wearing um, a new lip gloss from Nails Inc. And it's called Intense Color Lip Glaze in the shade Daily Inspo. Ooh, nice. Oh, 
this indeed is a lovely gloss but I think I need a bit of a a bit of a brown just like a yes guys I think I've got the color bang on now Ooh. so that is that do you know what I'm gonna do actually it's gonna go into the Huda Beauty palette and I'm gonna mix uh, celestial and angelic together because I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more of that onto the spotlight on my eye just like a tiny bit not too much this dress guys is from ASOS my earrings are from ASOS everything ASOS most likely everything that I buy uh, everything that I wear is from oh, I've got gloss on my teeth um, but yeah what I'm gonna do guys is take some of that highlight and just pop it onto my collarbone Not that it's gonna do anything for me, but let's add it anyways. <laughs> so guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And please let me know what colours you want to see next on my channel. Um, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. And yeah, there we go. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Gmail. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Email, what I do, what I was, anyone does it. Anyways, yeah. Let's go on. I'm starving now because I need to eat. <coughs>